The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. Before oh, I'm nice. Agaboka here with another video for you today. And today we're going to be playing more of the Half Past Fate series. Right now we're going to be getting into Chapter 3. So be sure to uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to keep seeing these videos. I like this game a lot and I'm going to be continuing to play on the channel. Uh, hopefully another video on Friday as well. And uh, if you guys don't know, I also stream on Twitch now. So if you guys want to see some more of this ugly face playing most likely some Splatoon or some uh, some other games like Brawl Hollow or Animal Crossing, and then I'm doing that over on my Twitch. I, I'm going live almost every other day. Uh, yeah, trying to keep as productive as possible. But yeah, until <laughs> until then, let's get into it. All right. So last time we left off, eight and a half years ago. Jesus. Chapter three. Eight years and six months ago. Yeah, eight and a half. Who be you? Unst. Wow, it still looks the same. What the hell? My dad looks so happy in this picture. Oh, that looks... He does. My boy happy. I guess he would be though. He and my mom came from Brazil just to get a picture next to his favorite author. Hmm. I wonder if recreating this photograph is a good idea for my composition project. I would say so, wouldn't it be? It's already halfway through the semester. Maybe I should do something more difficult. And what if it's too corny? I have to turn it into something and this is the best idea I have. I'll need to do a few things to get the composition right first though. Hopefully I can convince those kids over there to move. Plus, I'll need to figure out where my mom was standing when she took the picture. And I'll need to something I'll need someone to pose in place of my dad. Oh, there's a lot to do. I should get to work. Who would have thought they would have put the statue of James Green? He did write some great books though. Looking for Hawaii, Papyrus City, Papyrus? <laughs> Tortoises all the way up, and a multitude of Margarets. A, a, a multitude of Margarets? And the Cosmic Whoopsie. <laughs> My dad always liked his books, and he would believe in true love if it weren't for Green's novels. That's the kind of artistic power that made me want to be a photographer. Yo, can y'all get the fuck up out of here? Just some kids, I need them to move if I want to take my picture. Let's get a photo of the statue. You can take your picture, nothing's stopping you. Yeah, well, yeah, but I would prefer it if you weren't in the frame. Yeah, and I prefer if you, <laughs> you go away. Damn, y'all are assholes, bruh. Like, I understand she kind of came off a little strong saying, like, hey, y'all can move, please. Look, we don't want to be here either. Stop annoying us. Oh, please, no one forced you to be here. Yeah, except we were forced by his grandparents. Isn't that right, Daniel? Ugh. My parents said I should spend time with them while I can for memories and junk. I feel like this game has a weird portrayal of kids just thinking they're all assholes. At the same time, it's doing a good job because it's making me hate these kids. <laughs> Your grandparents? Yeah, his grand folks over there by the ducks. They wanted to go to the park and then you'll insist that we go with them. And you're over here because because they're gross. Yeah, they smell weird. Yeah, old people have a smell, dude. Everybody has a smell. Be like that. And sometimes they hold hands and stuff. Yuck. Ugh, stop talking. I'm going to puke. Yo, I'm finna kick these kids' ass. Let me guess, all their, those are the same grandkids, aren't they? Yep. Oh, hello, dear. We're doing fine. Just enjoying a lovely day in the park with our grandson. Also feeding some ducks. Your grandson? 
I see that young man over there, but I need to charge my battery. <laughs> He's that young man over there by the statue with his friends. I see. Well, I just came over to say that you're a very lovely couple. Oh my, thank you, dear. That's what a nice thing to say. Oh, ah, they kiss. I'll leave you to feeding the ducks. Well, have a lovely day, dear. Nice. She looks like she really enjoys being outdoors. He seems a bit overdressed for the weather. Don't be like that. Ooh, I think I recognize that boy with the camera. He's in some of my film classes. Nice. His name is Mike Milton? I don't remember. He doesn't talk much in class. It looks like he might be doing some schoolwork. Now that I could now that I could get a look at a good at him. He seems very photogenic. I bet he would make a great model for my picture. He's a film student, so he understands the process. No other reason. I wonder if I can get him to help me. What's good, dog? <laughs> Look at you, dog. He has the ball on. Toss the ball. I wasn't expecting to bark, but okay. <laughs> I see you have a ball there. You want to play? Hey. Hey, you're in the film school, right? I think we have some classes together. My name is Bia. Oh, um, yeah. Hi, uh, Myla. I'm Myla. <laughs> nice to meet you, Myla. Working on something? No, I'm just waiting for someone. Oh, I meant because the camera. Oh, the camera. Right, sorry. Yes, I'm not working on anything specifically. I just got this camera, so I figured I'd try it out. That's cool. It looks like a really nice camera. It is. It costs a fortune, but it's worth it. <laughs> I've only had it for a few days, but I already can't imagine shooting on anything else. I know exactly what you mean. There's a certain quality you can not you can get from a nice camera that you just can't get any other way. My friends are always trying to convince me that their phone cameras take pictures that are just as good. That's wrong. Objectively. <laughs> Ugh, mine do too. I hate that. But anyway, I knew, I mean, objectively that is incorrect, but at the same time, like, you know, there's certain qualities to having a better camera so like having this webcam I have is better than just my phone camera or you know a dedicated DSLR is better than just a phone camera because the technology is all you know amplified within those things but anyway oh awesome but anyway <laughs> I know what you mean about not being able to use anything else my parents got me this new camera when I came to the states for school and now I don't know how to ever live without it oh uh you came to the states too i just i thought i heard an accent i didn't want to say anything you know don't want to be rude but um i'm from canada where are you from i was born in brazil i moved here for college it's supposed to be the best film school in the country that's why i came here too i heard the same thing it's nice to meet some, uh another expat uh, we will achieve the American dream together. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, the American dream. It was good to meet you. I have a project uh, I need to do, so I better get going. Actually, maybe you could, you could help me? Sure, what do you need? I need someone to pose for this photo I'm taking. It's for the advanced composition class. Oh, I'm not really... I, I prefer being to be behind the camera, not in front of it. Please, it would mean so much to me. I promise I'll make it up to you. I guess I'll think about it. Oh, thank you. There's still a couple things I need to do to get the composition ready, so I'm going to go do that. It was great meeting you, Milo. I can tell we're going to be best friends. Oh, uh, right. Uh, yeah, nice meeting you too, be a pal. She's very forward in the way that she speaks. She looks like she's glued to her phone. It'd be like that. Uh, damn, hey, hello there, lovely day for some gardening, isn't it? I suppose. Are you alright? It's nothing, I planted some flowers in the community garden for my girlfriend two, uh, a few months ago. We broke up last week, but the flowers, they just bloomed today. I'm feeling lovesick, I guess. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay, she wasn't right for me anyway. At least I have my work to distract me. I don't know what I'm going to do with those flowers now. I kind of just want them gone. Don't throw them away. That'd be a waste. Do you mind if I take them? If you want them, they're yours. It's not like I have anyone to give them to anymore. 
They are the Gloriosa Superba. The red ones. Great, thank you. <laughs> That's cool. Where's Community Garden? Oh, Community Garden is right here. The red ones, he said it was. <laughs> Yoink. Maybe I could put them to good use. I wonder if, sir, uh, I wonder if there's anyone around here who would like to get flowers from a gardener. I have no idea. Uh, he looks like he's waiting for somebody. Oh, okay, cool. The Japanese couple talking about their daughter starting high school. Hmm. Oh, same thing. Looks like they're trying to pick up baby names from a book. What are you painting? Well, I was painting the scenery, admiring the view, when that gardener over there started trimming the hinges right in the middle of everything. I bet he is quite distracting, <laughs> so now, despite myself, I am admiring a different view. <laughs> Watching that tall drink of water over there trim the bridge. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> oh, okay, that's, what, that's one way to say it, I guess. Trim the hedges. I'm gonna admire... May I not admire beauty wherever I find it? Well, however you want to justify checking a guy out. I'm not, I, w I wouldn't. Alright, yes I am, yes, you say, checking him out. But can you blame a girl for her whimsy? Have you tried talking to him? Oh, darling, I couldn't. How odd would that be? I'm embarrassed enough to do, to be so distracted by him. I'm much too shy to even entertain the idea of talking to him. I will content myself as a lucky new. Hmm. Looks like it might be the job for matchmaker Bia. Hmm. Oh, are these for me? Yep, that garden over there. He grew these. They're for you. Oh my goodness, really? They're so beautiful. So handsome and he grows. Glorious. Super. What a dream. <laughs> will you go over there and talk to him now? Oh, I can't. I just can't. I'm just too shy. What do you think for the flowers from? They're so lovely, please, darling. Yes, I guess I can do that. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Playing matchmaker, bro. So trimming those edges? Yeah, it's a good distraction from my broken heart. Sure. That woman over there is totally checking you out. Really? Yeah, maybe you should go talk to her. I see what you're trying to do, but I don't think my heart can handle any more rejection right now. Thanks, anyway. Thank him for pin uh, the picnic. I give those flowers to that woman over there. She really loves them. She called them uh, Gloriosa Super Bob. She knows what they're called? Yeah, I told her you grew them. She wants to talk to you. I skipped. Uh, <laughs> really? Wow. Do you think I should go talk to her? Definitely. Yo. Do it. Do it. They really do make a lovely couple. Yeah, that's true. Whom's the fuck are you? I can't talk to you? I can't interact with you? Okay. How do I get those kids to get the fuck up there? Okay. So now there's a reason for me to take this. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. If you two are so bored, why don't you just leave? And abandon our friend? No way, dude. Yeah, we're BFFs forever. BFFs? What does that mean? Best friends forever? So you're best friends forever? Forever? Yeah, that's kind of the joke. Whoosh. I still don't get it, but I'm, talk I'm done talking to these kids. Maybe I can get the old couple to help. Perhaps. Sorry to bother you. Oh, it's no bother. Look, honey, it's just a nice girl. What can we do for you? Oh, the ducks are going to be in the way as well, huh? Ask about the teenagers. Is that your grandson over there by the statue? Oh, yes, that's Daniel. He's our sweetheart. 
Unfortunately, his friends aren't so sweet. I worry they're a bad influence on him. Young folks just need some space is all. Young folks need manners, too. Ducks are much better company anyway. Ask them to move to the statue? Do you think I could get a picture of you two by the statue? Oh, that would be charming. But the ducks are still here and we wouldn't want to leave the ducks hungry. Thanks for the offer. Maybe some other time after the ducks leave. Okay, get... Okay, get the ducks to leave. Still feeding the ducks, I see. Oh yes, they seem to never get full, do they, dear? I bet we could feed them all day and these little boogers would still be hungry. Yeah. Okay. Get the heck away. Thank you so much for introducing us. It was my pleasure. <laughs> okay, well, I need... What else? What else do I do? Hey. Uh, ask about the dog. Hey, is that your dog? Yeah, well, no, he's not my dog, but I am watching him. Uh, what's his name? His name is Peanut. Do you think I could play with him for a bit? Now that you mention it, that would be a big help, because then I could focus on filming. Peanut loves to play fetch. He has a ball. If you ask him for it, he'll drop it. Palabra. Yo, let me get your ball, bro. That's right. Good boy, Peanut. <laughs> Your ball again, boy. Nice. Alright, let me ask you again. Let's talk about school, bro. So are you a film major? Yeah, I want to make, you know, documentaries and stuff. I like real stories, real moments. I want to capture the way things are without any, you know, embellishment. It's, is that silly? I don't know. Or at least be another. I like working with footage. What about you? I haven't decided on a major yet. Probably photography? But I'm not sure if I can make a career out of it. Everyone takes pictures nowadays. I wouldn't worry um, so much about that. There are still people who recognize quality. If you're passionate about photography, people will see that in your work. Oh, thanks, Marla. That's really sweet. Oh, you know, it's just... Yeah. <laughs> hey, ask about the dog. So if Peanut isn't your dog, who's is he? Oh, um, he's a girlfriend's dog. <sighs> Dang it. Oh, you have a girlfriend. Yeah, she's super busy today, so I told her I watch her dog. Aw, oh, that's very nice of you. Fuck. Hey. <laughs> hey. So have you decided whether or not you want to help me with my project? I'm still not sure. I get really nervous in front of the camera. Maybe if you show me what you're trying to do, I should show him the photo of my dad. Yeah, sure. I'm trying to recreate this photo for my class project. Oh, this is really cool. I can see why you picked it. My mom took it. The man in the photo is my dad. They took this when they visited the U.S. before I was born. It was always it always inspired me growing up. It's the real reason I came to America to study photography. It's also why I chose it for this project. Oh, that's beautiful. You think so? It's not too corny? No, not at all. I mean, it means something to you. So it'll be more than just a photograph. I mean, the story is not about whether what's in the photo. The action of taking the photo is the story. It's a moment. Exactly. By recreating the photograph that inspired me to study photography and fulfilling that inspiration. Proving that I really did it. Wow, that's meta. <laughs> I love it. I, uh, I thought about it and I would like to help. Really? <laughs> Thanks, Philo. Thank you so much. It will be easy, I promise. All you need to do is pose as my dad in the front in front of the statue. I can do that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I still have to take care of a couple other things. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Alright, I'll be here. So 
you're telling me I have to throw this ball at those ducks. Hey. Yep, can I have your ball? Sorry, ducks. It's for art. <clears throat> oh, wow. Darn, I thought the ball would scare them off. <laughs> the dog will. <laughs> Holy shit. My bad. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? The dog just immediately fucking scared him away. Oh, my. Well, that worked out. Alright, well, I can get you guys to move out of the way. Let's not bother. Uh. Ask about the ducks. Now the ducks are gone. What will you do? Oh, the ducks are just an excuse to sit at the park. No reason we still can't do that. It's a beautiful day after all. Hmm. Maybe I ask them. Okay. Now I gotta ask them, huh? Ask the couple to move to the statue. Now that the ducks are gone, can I get a picture of you two by the statue? That does sound nice, doesn't it, dear? Without the ducks here, we might as well mosey. Look at the strut that freaking everybody has. You just got the that real strut, bro. Say cheese. Thank you so much. No, gross. Pops, Gamma. Can you please not embarrass me in front of my friends? You think that's embarrassing? Hey, you kids ever hear about the time Daniel was four and he went to the petting zoo? Oh, I love this story. That's it. Let's go. Where? Anywhere but here. Wait, but I want to hear the story. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's a good kid. I just wish she had better friends. Anyway, thanks for the picture, yes, lady. It was my pleasure. Awesome. I think I'm ready to see the picture now. Fantastic. Alright. Where should I stand? In front of the statue, just where my dad is standing in the photo. Alright. Awesome. Do I ask them to leave now? So enjoying the park? You betcha. how it turned out. I'm sorry, but how? 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 What? Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Wow, it looks great. You're so seriously, sa you're seriously talented. I had great starting composition for reference, but thank you. Do you... Do you think you could help me with the project I'm planning? I've been working on these for a while now. It's for the Sunset Film Festival. Jesus, the Sunset Film Festival? I want to submit it after graduation. What's the project? Oh, it's a documentary, mostly from found footage. It's going to be about the processed food industry. It all started a couple years ago when I was doing research on the foods we eat. Before I knew it, I came across some crazy footage that I think people would be interested to see. I keep looking for more, uh, for more and collected a lot over the years. You sound like another there. Yeah, my girlfriend always says I'm too clumsy with cameras to get my own footage. I don't know, you seem to be handling yours fine. Thanks. Well, your project sounds really interesting. I would love to help however I can. Really? Oh, thank you. It's the least I can do after you help me with my project. What are friends for, right? Yeah, for sure. Well, I'm going to go ba get back to filming. Good luck with your project. I'll see you in class. Yeah, I'll see you later. He seems really nice. It's too bad he has a girlfriend already. I'm glad I made a new friend, at least. Nice. I believe this is the start of chapter 4. Which, if it is, I think that's where I'm going to end it for today. Yep, chapter 4. But yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video for you today. Uh, yeah, it was an amazing uh, chapter in the story. Pretty pretty much 
shorter than the last chapter, a little bit longer than the first chapter, but hey, I enjoyed myself. Yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, be excited for the next chapter. And uh, yeah, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe uh, if you haven't already. I'm going to keep playing this game. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Hope you guys have a nice day. Until next time. I'll see you later.